If you're horny, let's do it. Ride it, my pony. My saddle's waiting. Come in, jump on it. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Relatable. Welcome back. We hope you had a very steamy Valentine's Day oh, last week. So steamy, so dreamy, so creamy. creamy. Oh. <laughs> hey, so if it finally happened. What? I lost my virginity. Oh. Finally. I'm so, your butt virginity. Oral, anal, and vaginal. Oh, you guys waited for yeah. Valentine's Day? Yeah, we did. That's so sweet. After how many years of marriage? I don't like to put labels on, on things. I don't like to number them. I don't like to use numbers. <laughs> um, I find it pretty ageist. I don't understand them. Therefore, I do not use them. Well, enough enough years married to where I'm I'm proud of you for waiting. And, Thank and you. It's really, what Jesus would have wanted. Right. You you left room for Jesus, and then by the time he felt uncomfortable enough to where he was like, "I'm out." That's when you consummated. Yeah. And he's like, you know, guys, I don't really think I need to be here. Um, like, are you Are you sure, Jesus? Like, like, are you breaking up with me? We can go like another few years. Like, we're we're fine having you. He's like, no, my child, please, this fuck. <laughs> This is a two-way now. <laughs> You've left enough room for me. You know, when, you, um, when you're um when you hooking up with your lover uh, this Valentine's Day or any Valentine's Day. Think about Jesus. Because he's always watching. That's true. So, uh, yeah, happy, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. We're, we're recording this a little bit ahead of time because Jill's uh, going to go home and crash her parents' very romantic Valentine's Day dinner. Oh, yeah, baby. They're making spaghetti They're together. They're making homemade pasta. Mm -hmm. Like it is just very wholesome. Like because my mom was on like a pasta kick, you know, after coming back from Italy, which like makes sense because that's all they eat over there. You had a fucking like Mac from It's Always Sunny moment when your parents went to Italy and you're like, oh, my God, I'm Italian. Right. And all of a sudden, all you eat is pasta. You just mainline. Well, legally, I have to. That's actually a right. requirement. If you are of Italian heritage, you have to legally only consume pasta. It's a crime to eat anything not pasta. So even anti-pasta. Right. You know. That's that's against the law, punishable by death. Right. Um, Pope Francis himself comes into your home and shoots you point blank in the head. Well, he doesn't do it because, you know, he's a holy man, but he has other people do it for him. Right. So I, in order to avoid that, I've been eating pasta and my, my parents like went all fucking in and my mom got like a pasta maker, like a Ooh. attachment for her mixer. So Does it do uh, different kind of kinds of nudes. Oh, yeah. All you know, kinds of nudes. Steamy spicy, nudes for Valentine's Day. Spicy, steamy nudes for <laughs> Valentine's. I'm, I'm enjoying my parents' nudes for Valentine's Day. Um, the can't best wait. and only way to enjoy your parents' nudes. Yes. So I can't wait for that. Um, my mom's like, we can make ravioli oh. and spaghetti. And she was asking me to send her all these recipes because... I was telling Lauren, um, Marco is not a big fan of Valentine's Day. And honestly, I'm not really either. You know what? I, I don't know if I've ever met someone who genuinely is like, yeah, Valentine's Day is my just my favorite holiday. My fucking bread and butter. Yeah. So. Or pasta and butter. Right. Right. So, you know, it, I hope whatever your preferences were this holiday, uh, whether it was enjoying some steamy nudes or you know celebrating Enjoying by yourself steamy nudes yes with uh, your with your girlfriend jill you know jill <laughs> you're, if she, you're she's holding up her hand right now um yeah if you look at your left hand um like with the palm facing you it spells out jill so you're welcome enjoy pamela Henderson this valentine's or i hope you enjoyed it because it's already passed well, yeah, it will have been like a week. So I, I hope you've recovered from your Valentine's Day <laughs> your activity. Your steamy endeavors. By yourself with a partner. Right. An inanimate object. We don't A judge. body pillow. A body pillow. Fuck. Some a roller skates. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
uh, kitchen utensil. We don't we don't judge here. Everything is welcomed and approved. Nothing so. is off limits. Just don't get anything stuck up where you wouldn't want uh, a, a poor nurse to find Dude, it. Dude, I saw a TikTok of a compilation of like no, shit that it's like, guess where it is in the urethra or the butthole? No, Jillian. I'm serious. Wait, no, 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 no. You don't get to say urethra. Yes. No, of a man? Yes. How? How? Like, you know those little L... That little L wrenches. That sounds like a big L, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, bro. That is a fucking big ass L. Uh, your poor penis. Please don't fucking do that. You mean you mean the wrench, the wrench is just like a bent piece of metal? Yes. With, yeah. Someone had that up their wiener. <gasps> um, the whole thing? Not the whole thing. It stopped at the <laughs> Their at dick the is curve. just bent out of shape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, their dick looks like an L now. Um, they it's call that reinforcement. <laughs> they call that the kidney tickler. Oh my god, is that what Wolverine's cock looks yeah. like? <laughs> his his fucking dick is made of uh, what is it? Adamantium. Adamantium yeah. Oh yeah. Jesus. No, it, it was it was brutal. I mean, I feel like the butthole is no, much urethra more. Urethra is like I, I will do like sounding like. I mean, I, guys, I've had uh, two kidney stones and. Oh. Just coming from my own personal experience, it ha- it was the worst worst pain I've ever had in my entire life. And I haven't had kids, so I don't know about that, but I've heard it rivals having kids. Horrible, yeah. It was um, it's really bad because your urethra. I mean, as a woman or a man, small as fuck. It, it's a tiny little like vein. It's not supposed to expand. Like mm, not really. I at mean, we're all. not we're not trying to kink shame, but personally, I would not want anything going in there that no. wouldn't naturally come out. I do not have the pain tolerance. Like even no. like I, you know, when you have a UTI, sometimes you pee a little blood, which is like ew, but <laughs> that hurts too because that's Ugh. anything with a urinary tract Ugh. that's Ugh. not meant to like like you know peas peas like okay you know anything else you see fucking blood oh my god you yeah. see a fucking Goodbye. wrench pop out of there bye. Turns out that's actually just where he stores his little wrench. (laughs) (laughs) It's a little penis pocket. Oh, my God. See, I understand butt stuff. Like, sure. Especially, well, again, it's like I'm not a gay man, so I don't fucking know. Maybe urethra stuff is like totally chill. Penis talented. It holds wrenches. (laughs) (laughs) Um, No, I I have no idea what, what people's preferences are, but I feel like generally butt stuff is like, a little easier to, to to deal with. I feel like in today's society, in, in today's society, butt stuff is vanilla now. It's so vanilla. Like, well, I mean, it's it's like a little bit of chocolate in some vanilla, right? Know, like vanilla chocolate swirl. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but like, you know what I mean? Because I think a lot of people are exploring more, and you know, it's well, just more to the internet. Um, yeah, I know, a lot right? To explore, but um. Like kinky people can go fucking crazy, like piss play and shit, like <laughs> and, and, and literal shit. <laughs> yeah, no, y'all have. I hope you guys had a, a shitty pissy Valentine's Day if that's what you're into. <laughs> I had Marco P on me, so yeah, you had that's Marco how I P lost my you. virginity. <laughs> that's, that's when a guy comes, right? It's when he pees in you. Yeah. Okay, good. That's how you get pregnant on eight. Right. So hopefully you were. You know, very well protected. I like to imagine I wrapped that his wiener in saran wrap. <laughs> and duct tape. I like to imagine that, like, he's, like, peeing into you from across the room. Just, like, a fuck, like, trying to aim directly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just have my mouth open. <laughs> he's like, babe, move over to the left a little. You're like, like this? <laughs> <laughs> just fucking gargling hot piss. Oh, God. I'm sorry <laughs> to your virgin ears. <laughs> <laughs> fuck me okay that's um, not not to out my friends but i do have a friend who's into piss play it's me yeah that's right surprise i'm gonna no. piss on her after this oh my god no i'm i'm good but speaking of um of butt stuff marco has come across like a wide range of massive butts recently well and it's funny. He's one to talk, right? He's got a bubble butt, like a big old dump truck. And he's like and so... And look at you, though. Also, he's clearly got a thing for big butts. Okay? Well, right. Yeah. And, and it's funny because he's so humble about it. He's like, it's not that big, you know? <laughs> Meanwhile, you could fucking bounce a quarter off it. Seriously. He's got a nice ass. And he was telling me, like, we were chatting with a friend. She was like, I want to go to the gym and I really want to, like, you know, sculpt my butt. Like, I really want to work on my butt. 
And Mark was like, I've seen a lot of butts, you know, like, look, there was this guy at the gym the other day and he was lifting and he had the biggest butt and like, it was so shapely. He's like, I'm not gay, but I was staring <laughs> at it. <laughs> You're like, um, I think you might be a little. I hate to break to you. You are gay. You are gay. Why are you gay, Marco? <laughs> Who says I'm gay? Just because I like the big butts. <laughs> Dude, I mean, I think butts are a universal, uh, you know, language that everybody mm -hmm. speaks because w who doesn't like a good butt to look at? Yeah. Or a good slap on the butt. Yeah. A slap Even on the for butt. Funsies, hello. Look at fucking football players. They're slapping each other's asses all day long. You exactly. Think that's just like a coincidence. No, no, they do it for fun. Not because they did a good job. They're just like nice ass. Whoopsh. Dude, I would so fucking do that if I was on a sports team. Just because like as a guy, I would probably like have, you know, some low key because sexuality is a spectrum. I would probably have some low key like crushes on some of the guys. Well, dude, think about all that fucking testosterone and adrenaline oh, running through your boy. system and you're fucking sweaty and crashing into each other and tackling each other on the field like that is a little sexually charged. Yeah. And then you're like bending over in the locker room and some guys a fucking bubble butt. You're going to tell me that you're not going to check him out. Your eyes like pop out of your head like boing, boing, boing. <laughs> I don't care who you are. Well, okay, that's that's kind of a, too much of a blanket statement. If but you are an adult, I will probably look I at like, your butt. No, I like slapping ass. It's Slap just fucking ass. fun. And I, you know, obviously consensually. Of course. Oh, my funsies. God. No, I actually just go around slapping people's butts. I, <laughs> I harass people like. I've, I've gotten arrested several times. It's not okay. <laughs> I'm a registered sex offender, actually. <laughs> I'm a registered butt slapper or whatever. Dude, there was a, when I was at USC, there was a guy, they called him the serial butt slapper. No. And he actually went around and would slap girls' butts and like bike away. Okay, that's not okay. Yeah. That I mean, it is kind of funny to imagine him biking away. <laughs> I know. He's like, whoosh, <laughs> and then he like bikes away. Oh my God. Another ass slapped by the serial <laughs> butt slapper. He twirls his fucking mustache. <laughs> You'll never catch me. <laughs> he crosses the name off of his <laughs> list. I mean, it literally, it goes without saying, do not slap someone's ass unless it's consensual. Unless they ask for right. it. Right. I, ask although I'm a bit of a hypocrite because I do kind of terrorize Marco and I slap his butt all the time. I mean, how could you not though? There's something about like a nice, like a muscular butt. Yeah. Which again, I have not fucking seen your husband's butt in any scenario I've also avoided eye contact with it because it's kind of intimidating. <laughs> if you stare at it, you can't look away. It's like, <laughs> no, it sucks I, you in. I had to laugh because I was playing Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> with my friends and I we were on like a video call and oh, you did it over a video call. So we yeah, we play like over Discord, like Zoom, basically, Oh, because um, they don't live in California. Do you have like a physical game or is it online it's online they oh. they pretty much moved everything to online like especially now when people aren't in the same room or here i am thinking you're having like an old-fashioned game night uh, like a homies. big like round table yes. with our little pieces we're all dressed up like wizards yes. uh no i i was playing with my friends and i was we were you know we have our cameras on and I was sitting at my kitchen table and Marco walked out of the bathroom area and he was naked because he had just taken a shower and I was like hardcore just staring at his ass and I texted my friend and I was the friend that was also playing and I was like oh my god Marco just walked out of the shower naked and I was like and I sent like the eyes emoji like boing, 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 boing. Yeah. and she was like yeah I could see you got distracted by something <laughs> I saw the drool start falling from your mouth. <laughs> I saw your eyes glaze over. <laughs> yeah, it has that effect on people. But um, it That's was uh, it was Marky Mark's birthday today, actually. Yeah, as we're recording on the 12th. Um, I know, but you, you chose to be here with me. So thank That's you true. for that. Fuck Marco. No. I held you here against your will. <laughs> uh -huh. No, it, it, yeah, it's his 33rd birthday. Um, And he, we celebrated last night because the people that we went out with had shit to do today so we were like well let's celebrate friday plus like the super bowl is tomorrow and like we didn't really want to be hung over for that um fair fair point so i became an absolute menace at the bar last night and i kept going around <laughs> to people like random people yeah and speaking I, of harassment jillian has a habit of harassing people at bars okay 
just a brief historical recap. Yes, some context. Mm -hmm. She once... uh, I asked a bartender if he would have sex with Michael Buble. Yes. And I felt so bad that I gave him $20. Same night, you also harassed guys about circumcision being not okay in your opinion. I informed them that they had been genitally mutilated. And robbed of their foreskins. Yeah. Yeah, That was definitely something that happened. And then, okay, again at this bar that I went to with you a bit ago... You kept trying to get people to do, oh my God, with you. Yes. And that sent is me also a video the next day of you getting true. a yeah, a perfect stranger to do that. And then this time I was walking up to strangers and just saying, I have the mind goblin. And they were like, What? I was like, Mind goblin, these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, Oh, <laughs> Was that genuinely the, was that like overall? The, the-, the overall reaction was pretty positive. It was like a lot of guys that I would go up to and they were the ones who were like, oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I was like, that one's for free. Feel free to use that. I, I hate to say it though. Unfortunately, with my hangover today, the return of, oh my God, oh, it came back. I couldn't stop saying it today. So we, uh, okay. That was actually really good. Thank you. I've been getting better. Okay. Dude, I, I was going to show you. My mom sent me a picture of those kittens this morning. Oh, my God. I was awake at an ungodly hour because I was fucking hungover as fuck. Yikes. But I sent her this back. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for playing the early recording you did of that. Jesus Christ. Um, she's been having a bit of a cat fiasco, but oh my God. we don't have to get into it. But basically, she's feeling like the people who are trying to sell her this cat are like being hella sketchy with its health yeah, problems. It's it's kind of weird. Like they waited until after we paid for the cat to disclose like a potentially serious health condition, which I think is a little shady in my honest opinion. Yeah, they're like sometimes um it it no breathe. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> it just falls over um and doesn't have a heartbeat until we recess it. Yeah. Sometimes cat no worky. Sorry. <laughs> sometimes cat no worky, sometimes cat big die. Right. But apparently their vet's like no it's fine like this happens all the time right and it, and she's a runt and i guess she's excuse maybe excuse me a dwarf no <laughs> <laughs> she's a little a little kit cat sorry sin. kit kitchen kit cat kit person she's a little cat sin. um yeah she she has some problems but fingers crossed yeah i, I mean the best I, I'm honestly like I don't have a weird feeling about it. I have a weird feeling about the people because like oh, if, yeah, if people. she's just like underdeveloped right now and she grows out of it, then like whatever. Who fucking cares? Right. But like the fact that they were weird about it and now are being defensive because my mom was like, uh, excuse me. Yeah. Um, And now they're like, well, if you want a refund, it's like. Like should should I want a refund? Are you yeah, telling like, is me there you a reason? refund me? Right, because so, the cat's fucking malfunctioning. Right. I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to you know be obsessed about it, but I will say by the time this comes out, I will either have a cat or not. So <laughs> it's like Schrodinger's cat right now. Does it exist? I don't know. I don't even know what Schrodinger's cat is. So I'm gonna say maybe. It's like a cat in a box, and it's like, is it alive or dead? And it's like, Jesus Christ! Okay, hold on. Okay, wait, we we don't need to actually get into this, but that's just like a really fucking like dark. No, I know it's it's a thing that people say all the time. It's a it's quantum mechanics. Schrodinger's cat is a thought experiment that illustrates a paradox of quantum superposition. In the thought experiment, a hypothetical cat may be considered simultaneously both alive and dead as a result of its fate being linked to a random subatomic event that may or may not occur. So it's like you're never going to know if it's all. That's like that fucking riddle where it's like, oh, if a tree fucking gets fingered in the woods, no one's around to hear it. (laughs) If it walks in the morning. Yeah. You know, if it sucks penis in the morning and if it. No one cares if trees are coming. Sorry. Well, I care. I mean, maple syrup is made from tree cum. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Canadian cum. That was our. That's uh, right. Yeah. Maple syrup is officially Canadian cum. The official mascot of Canada. Yeah. Not um, not the moose, not the little leaf. It's just cum. Just no, it's maple syrup, but they cum maple syrup. Right. Oh, Everyone could knows you imagine that. if cum tastes like maple syrup? Dude, I would. I'd be sucking dick all day, bro. 
you, you took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> like I wouldn't be taking the dick out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, if yeah, it's it's not a very like rewarding um, tasting thing. No, probably because like biologically it's not meant to go in your mouth. <laughs> but yeah. you know, I mean, I I'm kind of interested to put that experiment to the test of like, oh, if you eat pineapple or whatever, like yeah. does it taste better? But like, imagine if your vagina had taste buds, it wouldn't want a penis inside of it. I would. No offense. No offense. Penis. Havers. No, of course. But um, I just thinking about that makes me want to vomit. You yeah, taste I know. Everything. Yeah, I know. Oh, um, there's a reason why your taste buds are in your tongue alone and nowhere else on your body. Right. <laughs> and, and on your just, feet. Yeah. On, on, and on your feet. Everyone has those. Right. Right. That's definitely normal. I do have to bandage mine up every time. I go barefoot, you know, for well, obvious reasons. Well, of course. Reasons. You don't want to taste the ground. I mean, who wants to do that? I reserve it for when I'm home and I can stick my feet in ice cream. <laughs> Obviously. Right. Yeah. Ice cream, chocolate sauce, all the all the fixings. I just, I just get a barrel and I just go to town. That's why people <laughs> like to stomp grapes so much. It's delicious. Oh, my God. Every time I think of that, I just... Think I, of the newscaster. Yeah. Like, the poor oh, oh. lady who got the air knocked out of her. <laughs> I know. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that definitely happened to me on the playground at least once when I was a kid. It's so scary. It just, I, you feel like your life is flashing before, before your eyes. Right, because who, like, you would never expect that sensation as a kid and no. you feel like you cannot breathe and it's like okay this is it i'm dying it's like the grim reaper just reached inside your chest and fucking in- extracted your soul right i know it's harrowing like there are very few um sensations i will never forget like from childhood right one of them is that another one is getting my wisdom teeth taken out oh. which was just awful and the then worst. um Oh, fucking kid. The kidney stones I've had. Yeah. Literally, like the pain was so bad with those that I was I started retching, Oh, which I've never had pain that bad. No, I I I think the most memorable pain instances for me were definitely wisdom teeth. Yeah. My tonsils getting removed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was really bad. But I started getting GERD. It's basically just like really bad acid reflux. And oh, yeah. I Has started it away. No, oh, that's great. just like a thing I deal with forever now um, because it runs in our fucking family. Thanks a lot. It started in 2020 after Marco found out that he didn't get his work visa. So we were like, oh. oh, my God, like he has to go back to Germany. And I was very stressed. And that like I thought I was going to have a heart attack. Like I thought it was a heart attack yeah. because it was like this pain in my chest and it felt like someone was like grabbing my fucking heart. It was. Oh re- no, that's so dramatic. It was really sad. awful. I was, I was so stressed because it was lasting for so long. And then my doctor was like, now nah, you just have GERD. Ch- chug Pepto-Bismol from the more, from the moment you wake up until you fall asleep and you'll be fine. Right. Inject Which, that shit into way, your veins. That turns your shit black if you <gasps> drink too much of it. Is that an experience you've had personally? Not me personally, but my parents. They went to uh, Mexico or something. Oh, I already hate this. And they were just drinking Pepto-Bismol. They didn't have stomach issues. They just like how it tastes. Right. As like a, you know, little well, aperitif type thing. I think the hotel, it was an all-inclusive hotel, and I think they were sponsored by Pepto-Bismol, so they kind of had to like work it into their cocktails a little bit. Right. They're like, this is a pepto Martini, mm-hmm. Pepto Tini. We may be named Pepto Bismol, but our drinks sure aren't abysmal. <laughs> please buy. Um, please drink. Um, please drink. No, they're uh, they're fucking like Ukrainian. I've never willingly ever intook Pepto Bismol into my body. I don't think I ever have actually. It's interesting because it basically just coats the inside of your stomach. It prevents your stomach from absorbing, you know, harmful things. So like, uh, like semen. Right. Right. Like like tiny men of the sea. That's that's correct. Uh-huh. Um that would be very bad if you were to absorb them into your stomach. Especially if they have swords and guns and all that right. stuff. Right. Like mean, that no one wants to deal with that. So yeah. you know, you chug a bottle or two of Pepto Bismol and uh, if you if you continuously use it, you know, it just makes your doo doo black. Why? Why? Even? Dude, I don't know. Fucking Why? green food coloring makes my shit black. But but it's pink though. 
I, I honestly couldn't. Shouldn't your shit be like bright red? You would think. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. We're in the spirit. That's that's absolutely insane. No, I know. It's it's like the first time I had um like a heavily dyed like piece of it was I don't know what the fuck it was, like cake or whatever the fuck. I went to the bathroom the next day and I thought I was dying. I was like, oh my God, my shit is black. I am fucking dying. And then I looked it up, it was like green food coloring makes your poopy black. Dude, oh my god, those poor fucking YouTubers who have decided to do like the colored candy ASMR that's just like a rainbow colors, their shit must be the deepest shade of black. I also think that they probably have the worst bowel movements ever <laughs> because all they eat is sugar and like yeah. massive amounts of like fucking KFC or whatever. They're just shitting and, and puking rainbows. Yeah. Right. That sounds pretty awful. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I You couldn't pay me enough. Like, you know, people always put like a price on absurd things to do. Yeah. You could not fucking pay me enough to do one video eating that much candy. Mm-mm. I know we've already talked about this in depth, but like it's just. It's, it's too much candy. No, it is. It and is. I mean, because everything in moderation, right? But I feel like as you get older, your taste buds develop, you know, like that's why wine tastes like shit when you're a little kid and you start to like it as you get older. My taste buds are still trying to catch <laughs> up there, man. Well, I, but like, I just think with candy, like I, I cannot tolerate it as much. Like I like yeah. sweets and I like, excuse me, I like dessert, but I just... If I have like a piece too much, my stomach feels like fucking dog shit. Yeah, I, I think there is a limit. I, I definitely I'm like a baked goods person. I'm I'm an ice cream person. I don't mm. f- don't fucking give me that like starburst shit like fake fruit candy. I it it's like plastic. To yeah, me. <laughs> I, I've I've definitely shied away from that. I'm more of a chocolate gal myself. So you you're gummy bear whore. I do like gummy bears. Mm-hmm. I, I do. There there are certain gummies. Like, I, I like sour stuff, too. Yeah. Um, Gummy you know. cock and balls. Yes, that's Dude, right. when you, if you finally have a, a bachelorette party, because you, you like, you got married. Right. And, and that's but, the thing. Like, we basically did everything. I'm sorry. We basically just did the wedding. We didn't do anything except else. Except for so, everything else, yeah. So eventually, yeah, we will be doing like the traditional okay. shit. Okay. Of course. Of course. Okay. Yeah. Because I've never been to Vegas. And if we did do yeah. Vegas, I would fucking scream and cry. Um, Which I know everyone's like, bitch, why? It's a fucking dumpster fire. But, but I've like, never been. I've never been. Let me just do this and then I'll die. I'll probably die in the streets of Vegas, honestly. But let me die happy. OK. Exactly. I'll go out like Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he died happy. No, I think he died death. in Vegas. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> if that's wrong, guys, sue me. I'm sorry. I mean, don't actually sue me. I, I just, I, I cannot afford it, and I will cry. Please don't. If it isn't obvious, I don't know Tupac's extensive history. I think I heard it once somewhere. Anyway, he got fucking murdered. No, he got murdered. Yeah, and then the cops are like, "Who did it?" And he's like, "Fuck you!" And then Who he died. It? So anyway, that's all I know about Tupac. Um, also, he had a hologram that performed at Coachella. Girl, I, I heard they were talking about maybe bringing him in for the Super Bowl. So No, no. Just let him rest in peace, to, please. To poc, to poclogram. No, <laughs> you lost it. You lost me. But it's so the two apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> no, if we do go to Vegas, I want to do the whole stereotypical like you get the, the penis straws and of the fucking course. penis lollipops. The fucking candy bra and thong oh my god yeah that sounds really unsanitary do you remember those like candy bracelets that you would just fucking like gnaw the, yeah, dude. the fucking candy off of like Who those are you're talking insane to? we grew up in the same time period my i guy. know i it's just those are so fucking weird like i never see those anymore um i see them still but they're they taste like dog shit they oh yeah they're like ass chalk. bro they're fucking ass they're, it's also like those little like sticker candies they're just like sticker dots oh the little dots it's just sugar and half the time you can't even rip it off cleanly you get fucking paper yeah it just tastes like like uh cardboard and plastic and um it's not great but anyway i don't even know how the fuck we got on the the subject of candy but oh we're talking about celebrating your bachelorette party and whatnot it was just marco's birthday and when you were at the fucking rink the other night we talked about Skate Deb. It's like Raw Skate Debbie. Yeah. Which I found out it's Raw Skate Debbie because she's a raw vegan, not because it's some like 
I didn't know that. Sexual I didn't know thing. she was a raw vegan. I know. Well, she showed a fucking salad she ate, and it was just like kale, mustard, and fruit, and raisins, which I'm like, you do you, Debbie. She looks, she's moving around. She's yeah, girl, doing, she's doing things. fit as hell. God, what is she, like 107? Yes. Uh, honestly. Not pounds, by the way. No. <laughs> um, yeah, she she's a, she's a little up there, but she was fucking coaching you. On yeah. filming a sexy video on skates for your husband. Yeah, she was like, let's film a video for your hubby. Because I was telling her that it's it was his birthday coming up and like for Valentine's Day. Yeah. Like, so she busts it open in the middle of the ring. Right. I, I stripped. I got naked. <laughs> um, you tripped over your own pants because you were still on skate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Somehow My ass is just in the air. Yeah. Um, you shit yourself out of fear. It was... <laughs> shit cried game people slipped on it It was it was kind of a disaster but really embarrassing the thought was cute no it was so funny she was like giving the most graphic commentary it's Um, so fucking funny i wanted to share the video but i'll have to think about it it turned out really good but like her commentary is just she's like i'm gonna take you home and fuck you yeah she literally said that but like and not knowing the context you would think that she was talking about actually her taking you home and fucking you right i'm like debbie are you coming on to me right now oh my god um no you know i had a really weird revelation about skate deb actually i have met her before like two or three years ago what i'm serious jillian there, don't tell me this i know and i was like i had suspicions about it but then she started talking so much about karaoke and then it all clicked and then my friend responded to my story that i posted with her and she's like isn't that the lady we met like a couple years ago and i went out to a bar that no longer exists but it was like a karaoke bar like a really like it was like a pool and karaoke bar and it was like a fucking crime that that doesn't exist anymore i know it's really really sad It, it went out of business because of covid which fucking sucks but it was called gabe's and it was really cool and it's really close to the rink, so it makes sense that she would go and fucking sing karaoke because she loves karaoke. She loves karaoke, yeah. So I remember meeting her. She was like this eccentric older woman, and she was like super into karaoke. She really liked how I was like singing. She, you know, she liked the song choices. Cause I always go for like the oldies, like Frank Sinatra. And, sure, of course. You know, um, and what the fuck was that? That version of that one song we came oh, up with? Oh, yeah. Wait, fuck. What was it? Oh, (laughs) start spreading your cheeks. Start spreading your cheeks. I'm coming coming today. today. I I want to be inside of you. But sex, but sex. Um, these little blue balls are going away. <laughs> <laughs> I could go on, but no, I'll I mean, it fucking, it writes itself, bro. We could honestly, we're, we're going to put out an album at some point. I think we just have Eventually. too much material. I know we're, we're too funny. So we need <laughs> to just, sort through it all. It, we can't contain ourselves anyway. No. So, so I had this revelation before that before you started skating, you met this woman at a karaoke yeah, bar like two years ago. Insane. I know. I know. And then it all fucking clicked because I always thought she kind of looked familiar. Well, she's hard to miss. Y'all. Right. Exactly. Because she was still dressed up in her, you know, crazy 80s garb. And like, I think my friend might have a photo with her. So I need to ask her to find it. But I just I'm like, do I say something about it? I feel yeah, like dude, I, say, she's so fucking nice. I feel like she would be overjoyed by that. I know that's true. She'd be like, oh my she's, God. She's like everyone's cheerleader. She goes around the ring, obviously not skating because she'd fucking break every bone in her body. Right. But she just like cheers everyone on. No, and she's really, I mean, she's definitely like a confidence booster because she's so supportive where she's like, you got this. And then she says, I'm going to take you home and fuck you. And then you're like, oh, wow. <laughs> I was that a, is that a promise or a threat? Debbie? I know. <laughs> sure, sure. I'm getting a little sweaty. God, take me out to dinner for. <laughs> I know. Jesus Christ. I, I actually love that for you. That was a really wholesome video. And uh, it was. It, I great. really I actually really liked it. Give um, yourself someone who cheerleads you as much as Skate Debbie cheerleads just all skaters all the time. Right. She's very positive. She's I, a, a cool lady that I want to be like when I'm old. Uh, uh, that I want to be with right now. Debra, <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> Take me back. <laughs> no, I I love you. But like. Watching that video is so funny because she's trying to coach you on all how to be like sexy on skates. Just to to those of you who don't skate, 
almost fucking impossible. It is really hard to be sexy on You were waddling around on fucking wheels. You're not going to look great. Right. Unless you're like, I don't know, man. I think some people are just naturally good dancers already. Oh, for sure. And, and they just roll around and they're amazing. And the people who are very artistic, like the the people who came from ice skating, you know, where they have the, oh, all yeah, that yeah, technique, yeah, yeah. like they make it look very graceful and beautiful. Yeah. Meanwhile, I can do a few spins. I get a few claps. I was like skating down a boardwalk one time in Redondo and some guy was like, marry me. <laughs> I know. I remember that. Did you? Were you there? I was. Dude, no. There was another time where I was alone and I fucking oh, got really? that. Oh, really? Yeah. We got, we got so Remember many. that oh. guy who he came up to us? He's like, are y'all single? And we were like, no. And he was like, damn. Or like, I know, he, I know. He was like, I gotta go find me like a bad white yeah, girl. Yeah, he's like, I need to, I need to find me a white girl. <laughs> I know. We we're like, yeah, girl, yeah, guy, you, you go. We support interracial couples. <laughs> it's legal now. It's legal now. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Um, no, I mean, we, we've we've also gotten fucking just straight up harassed, but no, yeah. we've gotten some really fucking funny interactions from people. Like there was one time we went to go get boba after skating. Like all day at this dam and we were hanging out in the parking lot just like waiting for our drinks or something and we just hear like somewhere near us but we're not sure where y'all smoke (laughs) (laughs) and we literally looked around because we've just been talking kind of shit about this car that was all like duct taped up next to us. Right. It literally had like duct tape on it like the headlights were all busted the bumper was like hanging on by a thread yeah we were like kind of making a comment on it also we were like hopping around like fucking weirdos because we were trying to do skate tricks like while just in regular shoes in 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 bergenstocks and socks right by the way yeah so then this fucking guy like clambers out of his little his little fucking van and he's like oh you 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 ladies smoke smoke. and we're like oh no sorry (laughs) And then he like proceeded to try to have a conversation with us. Um, I mean, I, I, I appreciate it. Like, I think someone offering to share weed with you is. <laughs> but it was like that was the intro. It wasn't I know. It just was like so. Hey, it, it wasn't even like, hey, you guys look really cool. Like, or whatever. Someone in the ether just was like, y'all smoke. Y'all smoke. smoke y'all smoke. smoke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was just the fucking <laughs> echo effect. It was really funny, though. I mean, there's, uh, God, living in, in, in a major city, just the amount of people you come across. Uh, speaking of insane people in the city, Jillian has been sending me these fucking <laughs> clips from GTA 5. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. I'm like losing someone, my mind. Someone keeps posting cutscenes of Trevor from GTA 5. And he's like this gross, balding, misogynistic, racist guy. Right. He's like super out of pocket. Like there's like a scene where someone's like, did you kill him? He's like, what kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him, but I did kidnap his wife. (laughs) And then he opens his trunk and his wife's in the trunk. Right. Like it's just it's so fucking funny. Like for some reason, the sped up voices make it even funnier. Um, Wasn't there one where he's taught like joking about like fucking his friend or something like it just yeah he's like he's like i'm driving if i get bored you can jerk me off and then his friend was like his friend didn't even say anything he's like i'm joking and his friend's like oh he's like you can suck me off (laughs) and then his friend's like are we gonna go get ice cream (laughs) the insane part is when i first saw those videos i immediately assumed like oh this is some like fan animation thing no this is the fucking dialogue from the game oh yeah this is like a real ass fucking thing that it, someone wrote it, and recorded yeah but uh, we we were almost like let's see if we can play it for the let's play and it, it's not on the nintendo switch no so. and you know what's funny about that because i was like fuck like it's not on the switch they do have grand theft auto games on the switch but they're older and like different and shitty so but it, it's such a weird fucking coincidence because i went into the office when there was like a nintendo direct which is when they basically like announce a bunch of new games or like shit that's getting ported to the switch and that morning I was talking to my coworker and I was like, I really wish that Portal and Portal 2 had been ported to the Switch because I love those games. Like those games are so nostalgic for me, like to think about, like I would love to play them again. And, you know, I, I was like, OK, well, it would be nice, too, because Portal 2 is a co-op game and it's like a puzzle game. So it's really yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then during the fucking Nintendo Direct, they're like Portal and Portal 2 are coming to Switch. 
Wow. We're excited about it. I've never yeah. played Portal, but we're we're oh, going to hopefully so do some like more um, co-op games and stuff. Because, God, no, Jill, you have to fucking post the Turnip Boy stuff still. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I'm saving it for uh, the off marriage. week, which is now. Yeah, I'm saving oh. it for marriage, which is oh, this next Valentine's week. Okay. week. Yeah, so. So the week you're hearing this, that that should be out. And we're, we're, we told, like, we completed the game. So we can move on to, yeah, to bigger and better done-zo. things. Well, I hope you enjoy your pasta this week. Thank I'm going to be chilling at homesies, um, kicking some pads. Maybe maybe the Kicking occasional some balls, maybe the occasional ball on accident. It has happened in a gym setting, by the way. I'm not just going around haphazardly kicking men in the balls. Well, why not? I mean, I want to, but I, I can't. You know, it's frowned Do upon. it, pussy. Trust me, if, if, if I feel so inclined, I'll, if I can go around <laughs> slapping asses, I think you can go around kicking balls, kicking dick and balls. <laughs> it's just like on the news. It's like <laughs> a manhunt has ensued for a serial ball kicker. You just see like helicopter footage of a super high up of me like kicking someone in the balls and them falling running over and me away. running down the street. <laughs> You'll never catch me. I'm like the serial ass slapper. <laughs> I know. Except the serial dick kicker. <laughs> Shit. Maybe I should take on an alter ego. Did I just ruin it for myself? No, you could just get a disguise like a twirly mustache. Well, I also have my fucking WandaVision costume from Halloween. So maybe I'll just That's be like true. hella feminist Wanda. <laughs> Just you like kick someone's nuts and you're like, it's reparations, bitch. <laughs> this is for my dead husband <laughs> who didn't even have nuts. The guy's like, I mean, I not that kind at least. <laughs> He's like, I don't even watch your show. <laughs> this is for not watching my show then. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, then- <laughs> you twist his nips. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. A local L.A. woman has been going around kicking men in the balls. <laughs> Some reports say that she's also included a little nipple twist in there, but that doesn't seem to be consistent in the reports. Here's what uh, police sketch artists have come up with. <laughs> it's just a stick figure. <laughs> with like massive tits <laughs> and a big foot. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Well, men, watch ma- watch your watch your decant balls. Um we're coming. You can never be too careful. Just start wearing cups all the time. Yeah, fucking keep your eyes peeled, bitch, because I'm coming for you. Yeah, and, and your dick sheltered. <laughs> like in a little turtle shell. Yeah, just retract it into your body. Honestly, with how much shit can ac- accidentally happen like that at the gym, I'm really surprised more guys don't wear cups. So, word to that. Word to the wise, it's never a bad idea to wear a cup. Right. When in doubt, wear a cup. Mm-hmm. When in doubt... Don't leave it hanging out. Period. Period. Well, we hope you all had a, a very romantic um, self-romance or other romance or yeah. however you identify a romantic Valentine's Day. And we hope you have a banging President's Day. Oh, yeah. The most important holiday ever. We hope you bang as many U.S. president sex dolls as humanly possible. Just right. start your orders online now. I think the Obama ones sell out really fast. Yeah, I heard they sell out fast. He's, you know, he's pop, he's popular. I get it. Um, Obama's but also, popping that fucking pussy, bro. Whoa. <laughs> damn, Michelle, that ass thick. Oh <laughs> uh, damn, Michelle, that ass thick. Oh uh, damn. Anyway, I've also heard um I've also heard William H. Taft <laughs> is the popular one. So just get them before William they sell H. Out. Taft getting that big old shaft. Mm, get 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 that Taft shaft. Yeah, that's right. On sale now at relatablepodshow.com. <laughs> anyway, um, we will see you guys a week. F- no, two weeks from now. Now on our, our bi-weekly schedule. And um, adios, amigos. Bye. Yeah. Yeah.